Welcome back to 2000 Hours of Banjo. My name is Mark. If you're just joining us, this is 2000 Hours of Banjo. It's a YouTube channel dedicated to tracking my progress learning this instrument, the banjo, over my first 2000 hours of practice with no prior musical experience whatsoever in my past at all. So what you saw in the beginning there was Boil Them Cabbage Down, a song that I've been working on for a very, very long time, since day one, basically but I did quite a bit different with that one. One, I had two versions of backup. There was just a regular backup up here, and then there was one up the neck. The difference is of late is that if you saw it, when I went up the neck, I also moved I don't know, down, down the head. Um, and then when I went back to the regular down the neck backup, I moved again back up the head. <laughs> I guess that's right. Anyway, so I've been working on moving that right hand across the head up and down. I don't know if you can pick it up in the light here, but I def definitely have two smudges where my fingers are planting or have been planting. And I'm starting to get more smudging up, which I guess is a good thing because I see a lot of good banjo players and it's just like completely worn out all the way, all the frosting on the, on the head is worn off up and down uh, across the head. Something else also that I've been working on, and I didn't do it in, in that little rendition of Boil Them Cabbage Down, is not only am I trying to work up the head or down the head when I go up the neck, But when I'm playing um, lead banjo parts, I'm actually going past my, you know, I approach the bridge, but I'm now I'm going past, this is on the urging of my instructor, going past the bridge. So almost an entire digit down further. So I'm plucking closer to the, to the, to the bridge. And it gives it a very different sound. Versus where it was. And I can totally tell the difference. Hopefully you can tell the difference too with my, with my microphones. But it is a very different feel. Actually getting the, 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 the fingers back below the bridge it honestly reminded me of this Seinfeld episode where Kramer, I think he's in the car with Newman, I'm not sure, but they're driving their car past the empty sign on their gas gauge, so past the E sign, and it's like a whole new world of driving experience when you're driving your car at such low gas or when the meter is below empty. And that's what it kind of feels like. It feels like I shouldn't be down there, but, but my instructor assures, assures me that this is, this is normal and you should get used to it. So I'm, I'm definitely learning to get some mileage on the head of the banjo and travel some distance, both, both down and up the head as I play up and down the neck, if that makes any sense. So in addition to working on moving that right hand around, I've also been working on the new song, which is Foggy Mountain Breakdown. And last you saw me, I was freezing my butt off in the breezeway up at the cabin during a storm. 
and I was trying to really get that ring finger to behave and do what I wanted to do and do the hammer-ons necessary for the, the two, three hammer-ons on the second string in the first couple of measures of that song. Actually, it repeats quite a few times throughout that song. And I've, I think I've been doing pretty good. It, it feels pretty good. Let me see if I can do a demo. So I screwed up on the timing towards the end of it. Um, and, and it's an interesting song with interesting challenges. Obviously the big challenge for me was getting that ring finger to behave. But the other thing is timing is very critical in this song. There are, there are parts of the song that inherently I want to rush uh, and I shouldn't where I want to play quarter uh, uh, eighth notes when they're quarter notes, particularly that part, I just feel like I really need to exercise a lot of patience to get through. Now, granted, when I speed up, when I get faster at it, it won't take that long and I won't feel that, that urge to come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, but for right now, for how slow I'm playing, that just seems forever. But that's a really neat song. I, I'm really, really liking it. That said, I've already kind of picked the next song that I want to learn after this one, and that's Wayfaring Stranger. This is going to be from Mike Hedding's collections of songs, his um, arrangements. Uh, so I'm very eager to uh, finish learning this song, at least getting the song down and then working on it in the background while I pick up the new song, Wayfaring Stranger, because uh, I heard that song not too long ago for like the first time, and it's a beautiful song, and I, I think I can do it. It's, it's, um, it's more of an intermediate song as far as the material that Mike Hedding produces. He's got it listed as an intermediate, but I think I can tackle it. I'm gonna give it a go regardless and see how I do. Um, speaking of other songs, let's go ahead and kind of go through my repertoire for now and see where I'm at. I already did um, Boy Than Cabbage Down and I just did Foggy Mountain Breakdown, so let's do some of the other ones.
circle being broken, well, following um, Cumberland Gap. Uh, what other songs? having problems with that one. actually quite proud of that 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 last section is really has been really really tricky and I I'll be honest with a lot of the material that of all the material that I've been working on that particular uh, uh, way of playing backup for um, wagon wheel kind of makes me really feel like a banjo player because it, it feels like I'm doing some complex stuff. Really moving my hand around. And when I nail it, it, it feels really, really good. I feel really proud of myself when I really get that down which is not that often and certainly not at that speed. I'm playing a little bit fast as I kind of tend to do when I got the, the camera rolling because I want to try to impress you guys or something. All right, so that way is back up for Wagon Wheel. mistakes there. One of the things that I, I, I'm having a challenge with, um, this 3-2 pull-off, which I, you know, comes up often in a lot of songs, trying to get that pull-off snappy is really hard, um, especially in the context of the song, to really try to get it to snap. Uh, I feel like I have to start craning my wrist out, which I'm not wanting to do, because the last time I started doing that, I, I ended up injuring myself. So I will continue to work on developing that 3-2 pull-off using the, um, the middle finger, which Jim Pinky calls the social finger, and then the ring finger, and hopefully try to build up that snappiness to it. I don't have it quite yet. It, it kind of, especially in the context of a song, just kind of, kind of comes off as a, as a, 
I don't know, like I'm rubbing the, the string rather than plucking it. All right, uh, what's next? Let's do Mana Con Sorrow. parts better some parts not so good still working on that one um still enjoying the strum machine app also if you didn't see the last couple of videos ago i introduced the strum machine which is baking basically a, a backing track app for bluegrass and and playing playing particularly man of Con constant sorrow with that backing track feels really good i feel like a banjo player that's a, another thing that makes me feel like a real musician <laughs> Uh, so that's been pretty good too. Um, what am I missing? I think I've got just a, oh, <laughs> we can't we can't forget vamping. God forbid we forget vamping. Not the cleanest ever, but it's slowly improving. I, I, you know, chipping away at the vamping. I developed an artifact. <laughs> I call, I'm calling it an artifact where when I go from this chord shape to this chord shape, and then I go back again, I'm somehow picking up a string and making an accessory noise. I didn't quite make it that time, but anyway, that one is still troublesome, still working on it. We'll be working on it for quite some time. And I think that's it. I think I've covered everything that I've been working on up till now. By the way, what time are we at? How many hours are we at? Uh, we are at 446 hours, almost 450, getting there, getting close to 500, which will be the quarter mark. That said, I, I know I'm kind of going long here, but I wanted to bring up some kind of concerned. The past two weeks have been very, very busy. I've actually missed a couple of days where I didn't do any practice at all. Where I could fit it in, some other days I was only able to get like a half an hour of practice. And I have to say a I'm a little bit concerned. Again, not that this is any kind of race or anything like that, but in the first year of playing banjo, I learned Cumberland Gap, Boys and Cabbage Down, Cripple Creek, um, what other song did I learn? Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Four songs, and here we are, it is almost June, and the only song I've added to my repertoire of songs is just beginning Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Uh, so, I, I don't know, it just feels like I'm off pace, if that makes any sense, I've only, started to learn one new song 
this year. Now I've learned a lot of other things. Again, I'm, I'm learning to move up and down the neck. I'm cleaning up a lot of technique. Uh, I'm getting the vamping in as practice as well. So it's not like I, I don't have, I haven't been adding to the material, but it's really just been uh, polishing up existing material, material rather than moving on to new material. I feel like I should have a couple more songs under my belt by now as far as this year is concerned, but I just haven't really gotten to that point. Hopefully the second half of the year will be a little bit more productive when it comes to new material and you'll hear new songs on this channel from me. Anyway, that's it for now. Stay tuned. Thanks for, or I should say, thanks for tuning in. St tune in for next time. I've got some practice to do, so I will see you later. Bye.